Hey friends, in this video we are going to discuss an awesome data entry form in Microsoft Excel. This data entry form is very easy and very simple to create and even to use. There is no need to write even a single line of VBA code for this data entry form. We will discuss that how we can create this data entry form, how we can use this data entry form and what are shortcomings of this data entry form because we know that everything has its shortcomings, right? So let's start and let's see that how we can create this awesome data entry form. To use data entry form, obviously we need a table in which we can record data through that this data entry form, right? So I will create here sample table in which we will record data using this data entry form. I have been written here headers for our sample table that we need to create for our data entry form. So to create table we need to click on any of these headers. We can use shortcut key control plus T to create table. In this create table window we can check on this box my table has headers and we will go for ok and it will create table. Now in this table let's say we can use a formula we know that total salary is equal to basic salary plus housing plus travel allowance. Tax, let's say tax is 5% on total salary and net salary obviously it is total salary minus tax. I have been used here formula because there is some awesome thing in this data entry form that you need to know. We have been created this sample table. Now to create data entry form we need to go to file tab. In file tab we need to go to options. In options we need to go to quick access toolbar. In quick access toolbar we need to select from here commands not in ribbon and we will search for form. We know that these commands are ordered or alphabetically ordered so we will search form after E. So after E we have here F. Here we found the form we need to select this. We need to click on add button then we need to click for ok. And we will see that this form icon we have here. Now to create that entry form. We need to click anywhere in our sample table. We need to click on this form icon and here we go. We have our data entry form. First thing you will see heading of this data entry form. This is exactly same as we have name of sheet in which we are working. Second thing width of this uh, data entry or data input areas is exactly same as we have width of here biggest column. Let's say if we want to increase this width what we need to do we need to increase width of any column. Let's say we have been increased till here width of this column and now we have maximum width of this column and now we will again create form and you will see that width of this input area has been increased. So we will decrease it again. Again we will create form. Now you will see that you will notice here three things. We have input areas for all these headers but for last three headers we don't have input areas. Why? Because we have been used here formula and that entry form will automatically calculate figures for these areas. So let's start recording or let's start entering data from this data entry. First of all let's say serial number let's say 1. Employee name let's say it's John. Date of joining let's say it's 12 December 2001. Gender obviously male. Qualification let's say it's CPA position let's say it's CFO basic salary for example 50,000 housing allowance let's say 10,000 travel allowance let's say 5,000 and now to save this data into our table we need to click on this new or we can simply use enter button. I will use enter button and here we go you can see we have our data in our table. We will just little bit arrange this with and again we will create table and now we will go for new and now we need to enter our second record again second serial number two let's say it's let's say David second employee name date of joining let's say it's 22 Jan 2005 gender male obviously qualification let's say it's CA position let's say it's accounts manager salary let's say it's 35,000 housing allowance 7,000 for example 3,000 is travel allowance again I will click on new to 
record or to shift our data in our table i will click on new and here we go you can see we have here two records we can switch between our records by using these buttons find previous find previous you can see we can switch between our records now we have in our first record now to go to our second record we will click on find next to go back to our first record we will click on find previous if we want to delete any record we can simply delete use this delete button and let's say if we change here anything let's say i will change here female and we want to restore our original record we can simply use this restore button you can see i have been changed here gender from male to female and i want to just restore same as male i will just click here male and here we go now find let's say we want to find anything i will just add here two or three more records and then we will see that how we can find anything from our record now we have five records in our table and we need to see that if we want to find anything from our table how we can do this using the stat entry form to find anything from our table first of all we need to go to criteria i will click on this button criteria and let's say for let's say we want to find that how many female employees we have to find female employees here in gender we will write female and we will click on find previous and you can see on fifth number olivia is female employee then find previous on third number ambreen is female employee find previous nothing that mean we have two employees as females third number and fifth number and let's say we want to find new thing again we will click on criteria and let's say we want to something we want to find something else let's say we want to find that how many employees have qualification mba so we will write here mba and we will find we will click on find previous so here carter has mba again find previous nothing find next fifth employee olivia has mba so find next nothing that means only two employees we have with qualification mba let's say something else let's say we want to find that there are how many employees who have basic salary greater than 30000 so what we will do in basic salary we will write greater than 30000 find previous so here ambreen has basic salary more than 30000 again previous david has basic salary greater than 30000 again previous 50000 is john that means we have three employees who have basic salary greater than 30000 and you can see here that here we have these three employees who have basic salary greater than 30000 now let's say we are done with our data entry work so we can simply close our data entry form the last thing that we need to discuss about this data entry form is that what are shortcomings of this data entry form or what are the things that this data entry form cannot provide us I know that in comments many people will ask many questions that can we add this thing in this stat entry form or can we add this thing so it is better i explain shortcomings in this tutorial the first shortcoming is that you can you can see this field uh, in which we need to add date for such fields we cannot add here date picker from which we can directly select the date that we need to add here we need to add dates here manually we cannot add date picker in this stat entry form the second shortcoming or second thing that this stat entry form will not provide us is that in areas or in fields in which we need to add text for this text for this areas we cannot specify that do we need to add here uh, upper case lower case or proper case we cannot restrict these areas we need to be careful when we will add here data manually we need to be careful that do we uh, want to add here proper case or upper case or lower case the third thing or third shortcoming of this stat entry form is that we cannot add drop down list in these fields or in this stat entry form for example for this gender we want to add drop down list with male female so can we can simply and quickly select from drop down list or for example for from serial number we want to add here a drop down list from 1 to 100 we cannot add here drop down list so this is third shortcoming Uh, or third thing that this stat entry form cannot provide us for these three things we have to use user form with vba codes so friends that's all for today if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to press bell icon button thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye